Quick warning, this video will be full of spoilers for Dark, so don't watch this until you finish the series. Throughout Dark's three seasons, we see many characters in possession of suitcase time machines, including Jonas, Claudia, and Bartosz, just to name a few. It's easy to think there are a handful of machines floating around, but things get more complicated and more fun when you realize these are all the same machine, just at different points in its timeline. Baron Bo Odar, co-creator of the show, confirmed as much in an interview with Vulture. Hearing this, I had to get out my pen and paper, fire up Netflix, and do my best to track this time machine's voyage from creation through its long journey between our cast of characters. Before we start the journey, just a quick reminder to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified the next time we do a video. I should briefly note that Dark gives us a lot of clues about the time machine's journey. However, there are a couple of points where we have to make assumptions or educated guesses based on the information given. I'll make sure to call out wherever I'm making assumptions, and you can let me know in the comments if you disagree or have other theories. Our time machine's journey actually begins in 2040. Claudia has been holding back Jonas' attempts to stabilize the God Particle in order to preserve the knot. She's also been meeting with Claudia from Eva's world on a regular basis. However, after realizing her goals are not exactly aligned with Eva's, our Claudia kills other Claudia and takes her place. In the guise of this other Claudia, she visits Eva's world and receives the Time Machine blueprints. Eva hands them over with the instruction that they should be shared with our Claudia, who should then hand them to H.G. Tonhaus so he can build the time machine. In about 10 years, Claudia heads to the past to take care of some final tasks. This includes a pit stop in 1953, where she hands the blueprints over. Townhouse begins the long construction process, and 33 years later, in 1986, an older Jonas stops in the clock shop with an old, worn-out time machine. He asks Townhouse to repair it. He is unable to do so, However, after 33 years of attempting to build a time machine per the blueprints, he is finally able to complete it by learning from Jonas's worn out, broken time machine. Jonas returns to collect his repaired time machine, but is instead given the brand new one that Tonhaus finally finished constructing. With Jonas, the time machine begins a decades long journey. It's important to highlight here that the old, broken time machine that Jonas brings in is the same time machine as the one Tonhaus hands him. This video will chronicle the journey of this time machine through the years as it becomes older, eventually breaks, and is finally returned to Tonhaus where it meets its younger self. This time machine's journey begins in the clock shop when it is handed to Jonas and ends in the clock shop when it is returned by Jonas, now worn out and no longer working. With his brand new time machine, older Jonas heads to 2019, where he uses the machine to close the tunnel under Winden Cave. Later, as the apocalypse approaches, Jonas uses the machine to take his mother Hannah on a trip to 1987 so she can see Mikkel. Witnessing the machine's power and growing tired of her life in 2020, Hannah steals the device and with it heads to 1954. While there, she strikes up an affair with a young Egon Tiedemann, becomes pregnant with his child, and ultimately leaves him. It's not totally clear where or when Hannah heads from here, but where or whenever she is, we know she gives birth to Celia. Hannah and her child are visited by Eva, who tells her where she can find Jonas. Still in possession of the time machine, Hannah heads to 1911. There, a more Adam-looking Jonas is both reunited with his mother and his time machine. For close to a decade, as far as we know, the time machine doesn't see any action. However, in 1920, Noah arrives from the future seeking counsel with Adam. This is when Adam explains to Noah that Claudia has taken some pages out of the Triketra notebook. Noah must head to the future, where he'll work with Helga, recruit Bartosz, and find those pages. Noah takes the time machine from Adam, who previously retrieved it from Hannah, and heads to the future. We don't need to trace every one of Noah's steps, but we know he recruits Helga in 1953, kidnaps Jonas in 1986, 
And most importantly, in 2020, we learn that Noah has handed the time machine to Bartosz. We know Bartosz learned how to use it, but it's unclear if he ever traveled with the machine, except for the one time we witness it. Searching for answers, Bartosz's friends, Magnus, Francisca, Elizabeth, and Marta, head to the Winden Cave where they find Bartosz and his time machine. After some interrogation, he shows them how the machine works by taking them on a brief journey to 1987. After their return, Katarina confiscates the device in the hope of using it to retrieve Mikkel, though she never actually does. Around this time, a young Jonas reopens the passage under Winden Cave. Believing this represents a chance to save Mikkel, Katarina abandons the time machine at the Conwall residence and heads to the tunnels. With Katarina gone, the machine is finally back with Jonas. With the apocalypse at hand, Jonas uses the machine to transport him and his friends to safety. The machine takes Jonas, Magnus, Francisca, and Bartosz to 1888, where the machine will again lie dormant for some time. This is one part of the timeline where we need to do some guesswork. We know that at some point, an older Claudia takes possession of the time machine. Going over the timeline, I think this is the period where it most likely happened. Jonas's allegiance to Claudia is unclear. We know he trusted her at one time, but as he grew older, began to question her motives, believing she was starting to side with Adam. Once Jonas begins his transition to Adam, he may have once again sided with Claudia. I believe that at some point in the decade or two after 1888, Claudia visits Adam and retrieves the time machine so she can pass it to her younger self. She would have no trouble doing so since she possesses the powerful time travel orb, retrieved from the other Claudia. Also, I think Adam would be willing to hand the time machine over after Claudia provides some explanation along the lines of, if you want to destroy the knot, you need to perpetuate the cycle one more time by giving me the machine so you become who you need to be in the future. So, Claudia Claudia retrieves the time machine from Jonas slash Adam in the late 1800s or early 1900s. Then in 1987, older Claudia hands younger Claudia a map and some instructions. Older Claudia heads to 1954 and buries the time machine before she is killed by Noah. 33 years later, in 1987, younger Claudia follows the instructions and map left for her by her older self. Digging in the backyard, she finds the buried time machine and begins her time travel adventures. Traveling to 2020, Claudia sees her ill daughter, and in the library, catches up on the prior 33 years events. Learning of her father's mysterious death in 1987, Claudia returns to her time and tries to prevent it. She, of course, inadvertently causes her father's death and realizes it is one of the many sacrifices she'll need to make in perpetuating the cycle. When she returns home, a young Jonas promises to show her how to change the timeline for the better. They head to the cave, retrieve some cesium, and then crawl through the tunnels. Jonas and Claudia use the machine to reopen the passage, then head to 2020, where Jonas instructs Claudia to bring the time machine to the bunker. She grabs Regina, and they ride out the apocalypse, machine in hand, in the Doppler family bunker. Reopening the passage, or the apocalypse itself, seems to have damaged the machine, so Claudia puts it aside and instead focuses on stabilizing the god particle. Eventually, she runs into Jonas, and the two spend decades working on it, with Claudia secretly sabotaging their efforts. In 2052, Claudia allows the particle to stabilize, meaning it's time for an aged Jonas to head back in time and kick off another cycle. Claudia gives Jonas the old, broken time machine and tells him that H.G. Tonhaus can repair it. So, after waiting uselessly for 32 years, the time machine is taken by Jonas to 1986, where it finally meets its younger self. The machine will not be repaired, but but by looking at it, Tonhaus will be able to complete construction of his brand new time machine. With the device back in Tonhaus's shop in 1986, the circle is complete. After traversing multiple centuries, the machine has reached its final resting place, just as its younger self is about to begin the same journey. To see where it goes next, just rewind to about the minute and a half mark of this video and watch it again. As I mentioned, there are a couple of points where the machine changes hands, and the show doesn't explicitly reveal where or when that happens. The first example is Noah. He gives the machine to Bartosz, but when did Noah get it in the first place? 
Since Noah came to this time from Adam in 1920, and we know Hannah brought a machine to Adam in 1911, I assume the machine went from Hannah to Adam to Noah. The other major assumption I made is around older Claudia. In 2052, she gives Jonas her broken time machine. At that point, the only machine she should have is the orb stolen from other Claudia, and she'd have access to the now stabilized God particle. However, we clearly see older Claudia use the suitcase time machine, and of course, she buries it for her younger self to find. Tracing the timeline, the only opportunity I can see for her to retrieve a suitcase time machine is sometime in the late 1800s or early 1900s. After Jonas and his friends are stranded in 1888, it's unclear what happens to their time machine. So, by process of elimination, I assumed this was when older Claudia obtained the machine. Anyway, that about wraps it up. In the comments, let me know if you agree or disagree with my timeline, or do you have your own theories on the time machine's travels? Also, let me know if you have any other questions or topics you'd like to see me cover here. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified the next time we release a video. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next One Take.